So we're in nine, four, five, eight. There's Erica. There's our bathroom. The one thing I really like about these newer ships is the shower door. We don't have a curtain. So lots of storage, lots of space for your toiletries. We had an ocean suite category. It almost felt like kind of like a camper. Like if anybody's been into RVing, it felt like a regular cabin, regular width, but just an extended version. It was just longer. And we really liked the cabin. The cabin itself was great for the five of us. This was one of the few categories that will allow five people in a cabin. So we have our bed area here. Lots of, look at Erica, smiling Erica. And then lots of storage, lots of storage, which is great. We've got a safe, got drawers, hangers. And we have more drawers here. We have a refrigerator. I think we can adjust it to make it a little colder. It's usually in the back. We have lots of USB. Odds, outlets, vanity, space. And this is pretty cool. The kids like this feature. Be able to draw this curtain. Towards the balcony was a big curtain and then a sofa that converted into a like a queen size bed and then a, a Pullman bunk bed that came down from the ceiling. And the nice thing about that particular area too was that it had its own TV. So the kids could kind of hang out there and watch their own TV and do their own thing. And then we have a bed here that turns into a uh, mattress. The thing is, I always talk about how you have additional storage on carnival ships, but not in this case, because with this situation, this sofa becomes a bed. But if you're on a regular ship with just a standard sofa, you have drawers underneath your sofa. And so that's good for additional storage. The thing that's nice also with some of these newer ships is we don't have to worry about those big heavy doors that slam. You know, that's always a concern with kids. And you have an additional lock up here. Wait, that doesn't slam, right? That you can lock. The other thing regarding the balcony is that the balcony does extend. It's, it's a little bit deeper of a balcony than typically, but it's extended out. So when you walk out onto the balcony and you look up, everybody can kind of look down right on you. That goes with a lot of balconies. And then if you, as you look up, you can also see into everybody else's balcony. And a lot of the glass on the Celebration, and I think the Mardi Gras is clear, so it doesn't give you that same privacy where some of the other uh, ships that you've been on probably have some film on the glass that kind of gives you a little bit more privacy. And this is gonna be our balcony for the next couple weeks. What do you guys think? We're not gonna open up this bed now. We're gonna let the steward, uh, cabin Thank steward do it later, okay? okay? This is about as clean as you'll see the bathroom all week. Not that we make it dirty, but we're gonna have a lot of stuff, so obviously. Wow! 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 The cabin itself was great. We really enjoyed our cabin. I think the spacing in general with this uh, cabin has been really good. It's a little bit of a mess right now, <laughs> but I'd say it kind of reminds me, and we don't have a motorhome, but it kind of reminds me of a motorhome. I spent a little bit of time in some motorhomes. Kind of feels like we're in a camper. A long, narrow, feels like it's almost the width. A little bit wider than a camper, a motorhome, an RV. We got the bed area here for us. Lots of storage, work area, and then this section with curtain has been really useful for the kids. The kids have basically just been sleeping, all three of them, on the bottom bed there every night. Well, I want Aiden to sleep in this own bum bed. <laughs> so, in general, I think this has been a fantastic room. Family of five like us, in a perfect scenario, you'd have two cabins that were connecting, but obviously the cost of that would probably be a bit more. But I think this has been a really good. You like this cabin, Emma? Yeah. Yeah, are you happy with it? Yeah. Okay, good. I have to say, I really, really like this cabin. I'd say the only downside is that, yeah, you have some people that can look down on you here, 
because we have a little bit of an extended back balcony but and it's not that big of a balcony i wouldn't even say it's that extended but that would be like the only downside and that's not that big of a deal it's not like we're out here naked or doing anything crazy and the reality is most of the balconies above us don't have the same kind of privacy that some of the other ships you're used to may have This is also the best time of the day. Hey, right when the cabin has been made up, feels a little fresher. And this is a little fast forward two weeks into this vacation. We've been on this cruise ship for 13 days now. And I am uh, including this video and the tour of the cabin, which I took 13 days ago. So bottom line is we really like this cabin. It's much longer than a regular cabin. The width is about the same. The balcony is a little bit bigger. Um, I think we're in 9458, this is cabin 9458 on the Carnival Celebration. The location is great, you know, I feel like for kids activities and everything we're doing, just the location, I don't know, the location has been really good. And the space and the layout has been really functional for the five of us. So Eric and I obviously have been sleeping over here in the, uh, the main bed. There's been plenty of storage over here. And then we have this uh, refrigerator, additional storage, a nice little note from our cabin steward. And then the kids, even though we have the bunk bed here, they've all three of them have been sleeping down here. Um, the other feature that's kind of cool, which I don't know if that's just because of the suite or because we're on an XL ship, maybe that's a new thing. I don't know where they went. I'm trying to find one. I'll include a photo in this video. I think we actually put them away because we didn't want them to get stained and dirty. Personalized um, pillowcases. So it says good night, Ethan, good night, Emma, and good night, Aiden. It's a nice little feature. I, I'll ask the cabin steward what that's all about because I'm not sure if that's because we're in the, in the suite or the category cabin we're in or what, but really like it. So overall, being in this cabin for almost two weeks, love it. Like I think the, I think the layout has been super functional. This curtain between uh, the area is nice. Although the kids like to keep this closed, I usually keep it cracked because if you do close this and you want to wake up early in the morning, it's going to be like you're on an inside cabin because you're not going to get a lot of light coming through here. So I usually keep it cracked when we want to get natural sunlight in the morning. If you're thinking about doing a uh, cruise with a similar, let me see, actually I'm going to look this up real quick because I want to make sure I talk about what category cabin this is. Okay, so again, we're in cabin 9458 and the category for this is OS Suite. I'm not sure what that means, but we have five people in here. It's a cabin made for five people. We're on the ninth floor and the category on our reservation says OS Suite. So hope that helps. If you're thinking about um, something similar, I think that's it. I don't know what else I can share. The other thing I always like to bring, if you followed our videos for a while, I usually always bring like a bungee cord and the bungee cord kind of uses uh, is used as our clothing line just for the bathing suits and stuff because in the shower it just never seems to dry as quickly. The one thing I always suggest you do, it's not windy. I mean, the, look at the ocean right now. This is as clear as it will get, as smooth as it will get. The last two weeks we have had just nothing but smooth sailing the entire time. So that's why it hasn't been very windy. But normally when I use a bungee cord, I'll run the bungee cord like actually through the shorts or through the t-shirt because they, they might blow away if you don't. So keep that in mind. Otherwise the bungee cord is super handy for your wet bathing suits and things that you want to maybe wash and dry. And I don't know if you have any questions or comments about it, let me know. I don't know what else I can tell you about this cabin, but overall it's been pretty good. But look at that. Emma already fell asleep. Fantastic. I get to walk around now. I'm gonna go do some time-lapse video walking around the ship. And if she's sleeping, it's gonna be that much better. So hope everybody's having a great day. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment or question below and we'll talk to you soon.